I could see two ladies gabbing. Yeah. It reminded me of, a, my father was a great exaggerator, God bless yeah. him. And uh, there was two guys, Patty, Patty the Dash and Johnny Campbell. They were both famous talkers, talk, long range talkers. Money at a time, my mother would be walking and my mother gripped me with her arm and pushed me in the doorway. She, I said, what, watch this. There's Johnny the Campbell. If, if he gets you by the ear, you'll be, we'll be stuck for two hours. Right, right, I know that feeling. My father says, Johnny Campbell and Patty the Dash, once they met on a, on a corner, and they talked for three days, <laughs> my father said. Like I said, he exaggerated sometimes. For three days, but they had to call it off. It, it, it rained, so that's the only way they, neither guy would give up. But it rained, so they, they called it off, the two, the two talkers. Patty Talking Dash. Olympics. <laughs> right, right. Top, yeah, we did that too. Horse and wagon. My friend Charlie Coleman used to rent a wagon, a horse and wagon, and sell watermelons off the back. Where would of you it. go to get the wagon? Oh, uh, probably on some on South Street, someplace. Yeah, yeah. You know. And there was another t uh, t Italian kid, that guy, his name was, and uh, his father was the ice man. He used to have the ice right on the street with boil out bags over it, and uh, he used to cut the ice, black it, and we said, "Let us try it." No, no, you will ruin it. We tried it. The ice was split. The father had to sell it as crushed ice. He couldn't right, sell it right. as blocks anymore. The way they have the stuff laid out on the street, it's still like that now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and all these signs just be there, sure. The laundry. Boy, this is some book. Yeah, this reminds, reminds me a little bit of the stories, like, you know, playing the construction stuff. Yeah, this is like where we would have our, our shack there, you know. Right. With the shanty. Yeah. Here's, here's what I was talking about. It's like an old, right. but this wasn't a baby couch. Yeah. But this would be the ch chestnuts or, or, uh, or arbus, which was like chickpeas, but we called right. the Jewish people called them arbus. Here's this. Many a time my mother put the pillow there and lean out the window, watch the, there'd be always something going, a, a crap <laughs> game or an ambulance, right. or like Archie Dunn, somebody getting shot. <laughs> Ringside seat. Yeah, yeah, this is the way it was.